Welcome. Today I would like to talk about circular queues and I will use C++ to show how they can uh, create your own circular queue. So just give you an example, I have a circular queue of only three entries and typically what you want to do is start with something called a rear and that's where you put in the new element. So usually it will be used during the NQ portion and the front is when you would increment it when you dequeue. And the fact about the circular queue is it just kind of moves around in the circle and just goes, in this case, will just go from 0, 1 through 2. So let's just take a look at the code I have. So I'm just using, uh, as I said, C++. So I have created a template class and it will take a type. So our queue can be a little bit flexible in terms of the normal type. The constructor is pretty straightforward. It creates an array of the particular type and given the given length and DQ we deleted. So if you look at the NQ, what you want to do is you want to add the error condition first. So here basically the error condition is the queue is going to be full if rear plus one modulo the length of the queue is equal to front then the queue is full. If queue is not full we can basically put the data that is incoming element and we can increment the rear and this is the modulo arithmetic so that it kind of uh, goes around the circle. The DQ is also pretty similar. What you want to do is check for the error condition. So if usually the front is equal to rear, then you can say the queue is empty. For example, when we start the, the front and rear is equal to be zero. If you call DQ right away, it should throw queue empty. Otherwise, you want to extract the element, then increment the front pointer and this is the modular arithmetic and return the element. So here I have a particular test case, basically, the queue is empty and it is going to try to dequeue so we can just kind of run it and see what it does so here you can see it is printing the message queue empty which is great uh, here i have a case where i'm adding four elements to the queue so it should uh, print a message saying queue full so we can kind of resume it and see what happens so it's here you can see it's saying queue full uh, here i delete that particular queue and create a new queue and i'm going through the uh, elements in sequence one by one and uh, basically you can see it is in queuing it and is dequeuing it so after it does all of those elements it does an additional dequeue so that's just to additional dequeue would cause it to print that the queue is empty because we added four elements and deleted four elements so if i just let it run through you can see it printed all the elements after in queuing and dequeuing it and then it prints queue empty so hopefully this uh, video is uh, useful for you. If you want to learn more and check other videos, you can just go to my website and search for C++ and you can search for various other tutorials and everything else uh, that you might be interested. And my website is godassociates.com. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.